Feel free to paddle around a little bit, get the Okay, welcome back. My name is Craig Adams. Thank you for watching. That was my hike in Big Bend National Park. I'm going to talk about how I got there, my experience on the loop, and hopefully answer some general questions to help give you the inspiration and the confidence to go do this hike yourself. I flew from New York City to Midland, Odessa, right here and then rented a car and made the drive all the way down to this area. I've been to Texas before over here, but I'd never been in this area up against Mexico here. It was pretty isolated. You pass a lot of oil rigs and fields and cattle, and the further south you go along this road, the, you know, the more isolated you are and the more desert vibes you get. Big Bend National Park is kind of big compared to this area that you would consider the national park. It extends to the desert surrounding area and up against the border with Mexico right here. And it was tough to get drone shots outside of the border. The closest I could get was like right here. So that's why the opening shot was such a long distance from the mountain range, but it still worked. The day I flew in, I just drove right into the park and I had actually booked a night at the Chizos Mountain Lodge so that I knew I would just have a nice place to take a shower, charge batteries, and just be ready for the next morning of hiking. This was my first time in the park, but I would assume this is the main hike that you would do if you wanted to see as much of the park as possible in like one to two days. And I could have easily done this whole entire loop in one single day and then carried much fewer things and less gear to speed my process up, but you know, I wanted to camp one night and take my time and shoot everything with the sunrise and sunset and all trails just updated and added this 3d feature which is actually really good because i've been using google maps and google earth to try to show these trails but this is perfect i really like this all trails so for day one i just started up all the way to emory peak and then i went to my campsite in boot canyon right here and I actually reached this spot before noon. So it's not in the video, but I dropped my stuff, just took, you know, my AirPods and a water bottle, and then went all the way back to have lunch, and then walked all the way back and pretty much did day one twice 
uh, and still had time to just relax and chill. So I, you know, I was a little OP for this hike. I could have done it in one day. And like I said, I wanted to just spend the night. I believe Emory Peak is the second highest in Texas. And it was very easy compared to what I'm used to. Um, you know, most people can do it, especially the scramble at the top was barely a scramble. The highlight of the hike was definitely coming up on the south rim uh, the morning of day two with this nice expansive view of down towards Mexico. And you can't really see the river, but the river's out there. I wasn't able to get a reservation for a campsite on the south rim, but that's really what you want to try to do because being up along the edge for the sunrise and sunset, you have views and the color and the light compared to where I was in Boot Canyon. It was like in the trees, in a canyon, and yeah, kind of boring for sunrise and sunset. There were a lot of indications that there are bears in these mountains and there were bear boxes at every campsite, but I didn't see anything. And then to wrap up the loop, I just sped all the way downhill for most of the time, all the way back to the visitor center area. I will note the convenience store has a lot of stuff. Supplies, drinks, hiking, basic stuff, propane tanks for jet boil. I added a couple photos from my hike and just a couple notes, but if you wanna view, use, download this all trails map, there's a link in the description down below. Uh, yeah, um, desert hikes, I don't know, maybe just I've been spoiled by bigger and better things, but there just wasn't that much interesting for me with this trip, with this hike. Yeah, I liked uh, making friends with the orange cat at the little country store I visited. The tacos at Rio Bravo uh, were really good. $10 camping at Coyote Crossing was pleasant. The Big Bend Hiking and Boating Company were very nice. You know, the team there, they had dogs. They were very helpful. Uh, it was a nice little float down the river, but the river was pretty low. So, you know, we didn't go where the big canyons were. So it was a lot of sun and I think I got a little sunburn, but yeah, just a little river float. So I've offset the carbon uh, emissions footprint of both of my flights for this trip with ren.com. There's an affiliate link in the description below if you want to check that out, but they make it very easy to offset any impact you have on carbon emissions. CraigAdams.com has a gear grid of all of the tools and services that I use to go on these trips and make these videos. And I recently just added a couple of books that I really recommend, so check those out. You can follow me on Instagram where I upload little mini films from these trips photo updates, and vlog with Instagram stories. My Craig Adam Streams YouTube channel is new, but growing. I'm uploading podcasts, gaming, Twitch content, uh, interviews with other creatives, as well as behind the scenes and occasional Q and A's. And lastly, if you wanna support these trips, help me have more creative control over the videos that I create, and to just make more videos, you can support me with channel memberships. Just click the join button on the channel homepage on desktop and go from there. But thanks for following along and uh, cheers. See the peak right there. It's boring. My hands are cold. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs>